and welcome. So, I haven't posted in a while. <laughs> I'd say I've been posted in about a month, which is a long time, and I'm super sorry, but this time I am dedicated and I'm gonna post videos every week. So, today is actually a really nice video for you and me if you like horses. So, yesterday I went to Hickstead, the International Horse Show, and there are loads of like little shops and I went to the Lemieux shop and I got, drum rolls please, the new horse at Lemieux, I love him so much. He's so soft, but can you believe I got him? He is so, so adorable and so cute. I'm gonna lower the camera so you can see him. Here he is. And basically today's video is just going, I'm just going to show you me packing him up and grooming him and all of that. So let's get right on into it. So let's get this rug off because he must be feeling hot in this weather. There we go. Just like this. And we already got the rug off. So I'm just going to sit like this so you can see him better. Here we've got the van that I bring him in when we need to go to hacks and everything. <laughs> and I, I love how I'm acting like this is a real pony because I don't have a pony or a horse of my own. So he's my little personal mini, 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 mini pony. <laughs> so let's get started. So the first thing that I put on a horse when I'm tacking him up is, when I'm tacking them up, is a saddle pad. And by the way, I also want to say another thing. When I went to Hickstead yesterday, I met the one and only, this says me, oh my goodness. It was amazing. She's the kindest person I've ever met. She's so amazing. Literally, I got a photo of her. She gave me her autograph. It's amazing. She was so kind, so amazing. Um, and it was unreal to see her in person. But in one of her videos, she said how to put a saddle pad on. And when you see these little like black things, apparently, it's when the, is where the front is. So, and also in in the front of the saddle pad is like it's a bit higher to make space for the withers. So her, um, she was so helpful because I always used to get really mixed up. Uh, where the front of the saddle pad was and she was so helpful with that video. So now I know where to put my saddle pad and what way it is. But the next step is the bar and saddle where we actually sit on. So we have got the saddle and the girl. I actually cleaned all of the um, tap today which was nice. Unfortunately I don't have the whole set of um, the Lemia thing because I don't have the bridle, which is unfortunate, but we can still make it work. Just like this. There we go, perfect. I'm just doing the gaff up, you probably can't see anything, but when I do it on the other side, you'll be able to see everything. There we go. I'm gonna turn it around. <laughs> Here we go. I'll turn myself around so you guys can see. Okay. Well, I literally can't see it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So I'm just going to do the girth up. And since, uh, Sky, did I present it, him to you? Oh my god, maybe I didn't. Oh. So his name is Sky. And I think it's a him. I'll, I'll classify him as a him. Because I don't know if if um if sky is a boy or a girl name i believe it's a girl name but i'll just classify him as a boy but you guys can decide whether sky is a boy or a girl however you prefer okay we have already done the girth up which was actually really quick because i hate doing up the girth it's very difficult so here we have the saddle pad and the saddle on perfectly Right, now that we've got the saddle and saddle pad and girth, we need the air bonnet. <laughs> so let's put the air bonnet right on. And I think I got the wrong size. I think I got the size for a donkey because, um, sorry, do you see it? I don't see it. Like, how is that supposed to fit him? 
but we'll just pretend because it's so cute on him. I chose this colour because I thought bluebell would be amazing on a dark bay. Um, so tell me what you guys think. Should I have got a shred of a picked a other colour? Because there was like red, I think there was like hot pink. But I think bluebell fits in perfectly. But you guys tell me. So was this the right colour or should I have gone for another one? But anyway, we have the ear bonnet on. Look. <laughs> Now, the last step, since I don't have the bridle, here are the stirrups, <laughs> which I like to take off whenever I um, unpack a uh, sky because I just find it more fun just putting them on again. So, yeah, I'm just going to do the stirrups up, so you're going to put this in here. Oh, gosh, it's, everything is so mini, so it's actually quite harder than the real thing, I'd say. So that's really, really cool actually because it's a mini on my mini mini pony. And I put it on the fifth hole, on the last hole, just because I think it's just cuter <laughs> on the last hole because it's, yeah, I just find it cuter and I like putting it on the last hole. Okay, then I do like this and put this. I'm sure you guys can't see anything right now, I'm super sorry. Okay. We've done one stirrup. I wish my feet fit in here so that I could ride Sky, but unfortunately they don't. Oh, there we go. Sliding off the saddle. And we have the last stirrup. How oh, easy it is. Put it through this metal thing. And I'll pull this like that. Once again, I do the exact same thing on the other side. Just like this. And we're already done. It's so quick and easy. So, <laughs> now let's just adjust it a bit. And we are all done. Look how cute Sky looks. But I think we're missing something. We need to comb his mane and tail and also get his hooves clean because they're looking a bit dirty. Let's just put the camera down a little bit. Okay, let's get the comb. This mini is so cute! And let's just comb with a lovely soft mane. No knots. Do you notice that? No knots. As I say that, I find a knot. <laughs> wow, there we go. They're all out. Amazing. Perfect. Now let's do the tail. So sick. How sick that is. Oh, this is quite a lot of knots because it has loads of hair. There we go. Just like that. So soft. And let's do the hooves. You can't miss out on those. It took me approximately about five minutes to do the hooves on a real horse. Because I just found it so hard because on the horse that I used to clean and groom and tack. God, so much dirt, so much mud and dust, I don't know what, I don't want to know what, in his hooves that it literally took me five minutes per, for every, I'd say, every two hooves. It was so, like, mega. It was like, what? How do you have this much stuff in your hooves? And on here, it's much easier. We are all done. And look at him, he's so cute. I think the bluebell colour fits him perfectly. And look, finally a pony that I can pick up. Okay, so now that I look at it, the saddle and saddle hard looks a bit on the um, bum side and not on the back side. There we go. There we go, that's much better. <laughs> Here are the stirrups. Not even my two fingers fit in it. No wonder my feet. Imagine my feet trying to fit in this. But anyways, this is the end of the video. And I will, I mean honestly, I might put this into a series if everyone wants to. Because I love it and it's so fun to do. And maybe I could do it in a little series. I could invent something. But thank you to everyone who watched this video. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure Sky appreciates it too. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see everyone Monday. No, yeah, Monday. Perfect. Bye, everyone.